to program the Wago BACnet IP controller. What we have here is a 750-830 and connected to a four-channel digital in and a four-channel digital out. And uh, this controller is also a Modbus TCP master, so it makes a really good gateway. And I'm just connecting this to the, my network here with the Ethernet cable. So if we go get started on the uh, Codasys project, I'm just going to program this in structured text. Add the uh, BACnet library, and what this does is it gives you um, pre-made objects which will uh, populate the uh, BACnet um, network with the present value and uh, units, what we're going to focus on here. So I'm just going to copy the, uh, the BACnet um, analog value type. I'm going to create uh, an object here called pump speed, and then I'm going to create an internal real variable called plc underscore pump speed. So obviously this is a real simple example with just one variable. Uh, here you could populate you know, uh, dozens of variables, uh, up to 1,000 BACnet objects if needed. I'm just going to go into the PLC PRG and add a little structure text here. So our pump speed present value equals our PLC pump speed. And then I'm just going to create a web visualization here so um, it'll just make it easier to test our program. Just a simple uh, text entry, and we're going to tie this to the uh, PLC underscore PRG variable under text display. And that also allow input on this field so we can click on it to modify. So we'll just go ahead and uh, resize these windows. At this point, we want to create the XML uh, object, and this is what's dumps the objects to a file that the uh, configurator program can read. Um, so for the global variables, I'm just going to export the uh, data entries and then um, just go with the defaults on the BACnet IP library. Um, it's going to need to have write access to that. So go ahead and save that off. And uh, when you build a project, it's going to create the uh, XML file for you. Uh, it does that automatically when you download. So here it's downloading the web uh, visualization. I'm going to run that and create a boot project. So then we go to the uh, web browser, navigate down to our web visualization, and we should see our interface here. So let's just put a number in here, make sure uh, we're modifying the uh, variable, and it is working. So I'm just going to minimize Codasys now and go into the uh, Wago BACnet configurator program and hit configure uh, on the device that it finds on the network. And you can see here it says file unavailable for the uh, symbol file. So what we need to do now um, is, is create that symbol file by importing it from our Codasys um, project. I'm going to give the device name something a little more usable, the wago underscore plc. You can see it's uploading the symbol file now and it uploads that to the uh, file system on the plc. Uh, we need to log back in and run the plc program again. Uh, the download process uh, resets. So um, here you can see the analog value is showing up in our configurator program. Let's just put a number here, 124. You can see it's updating in the configurator program. We'll try another number here, 334, and it does update. So what we've got here is a um, BACnet client. It's an open source uh, software called Mango. Just going to go into the um, who is sees the PLC and there you can see all the values. The pump speed value that we created, the internal variable, is um, is updating from the PLC. And um, notice the units is wrong. I'm going to change that to um, RPM. Uh, square meters doesn't really fit a pump speed um, units. I'm going to commit those values and you can see how that um, will update the clients automatically. It's the, kind of the nice, the nice thing about BACnet because it's object-based, um, all the clients get updated with uh, all the parameters. And that concludes our video. Thank you.